All right, guys, welcome back. We have today an Acoria bundle box. So we're going to check out to see what we have inside and then a look at the new retail packs of the Icoria Collector Booster. So now they're in these cool looking boxes. I'm thinking they caught on to those individuals who kind of snuck in the regular ones to buy for the collector's price for only the four or five dollar price point so got a little smart put them in these collector's boxes to kind of differentiate the two which you know they should be doing so you'll still these cds at your retail stores whether that's target walmart uh oops sorry about that got this in there what else we got target walmart maybe your local game stop if they ever open back up but that's what it looks like. Let's see where this guy opens up. Here we go. So in the bundle box, you'll receive a alternative, alternative Art Premium Foil Colossification card, 20 Premium Foil, and 20 regular basic lands. I wonder if they have Godzilla in there. I doubt it because it's a secret layer. 10, 15 card Icoria Layer of the Behemoths booster packs, a card box, a special oversized spin down life counter and two reference cards plus six counters. You open it up, this is what you get. Crazy looking art there, pretty cool. Uh oh, stay away. All right, here you get your empty box that you keep whatever you want. Guys, in your comments below, give me your best use for this empty box that they put in here. In here, mutating your creatures, what mutate looks like. And, oh, surprised they don't explain what companion is in here. All right, in here we have, oh, this is a huge, cool-looking Icoria spin-down counter. There you go. And, oh, iridescent. Pretty cool. Same size to the ones you receive for Theros and um, Throne of Eldraine. So really cool on the big... Spin down counter, your 10 packs plus your loyalty or your reference card. I thought these were stickers at first, but they're little punch out little tokens. There you go. Life link, death touch. All right. And your land pack plus, look at that. It was a big cat. Now it's a huge looking nasty slime of a weird thing <laughs> so they replaced the cat with slimer from the ghostbusters here's your foil lands no godzillas in them because that was presented in the secret lair so there you are with the lands pretty cool foil lands all right there's that and this is just your regular land pack i'm pretty sure that you receive in every bundle pack let's take a look there you go planes so pretty much the same just non-foil all right and let's see what we pull out of our that's still pretty cool 10 packs let's go ahead and open it up 10 regular booster packs you get your more of these guys and of course i like to mess up that card there. I should probably open it a lot safer next time around. And I need to replace my battery for the smoke detector. Savi Crystal. I actually haven't seen this card yet. Huh, so it's all it's a minimal form of this Triome Lands. Right? Let's take a look. I'm gonna see. Shark Typhoon for the Sharknado for the rare pool. Alright. Should be more gentle than these cards. I'm just uh, I want to bust open, bust them open pretty quickly. Savai Thundermane. So any of these Savai has the uh, two little casting costs there. Flourishing Fox, Jengatha the Wellspring for the rare, and Jungle Hollow. All right, two packs, whatever's. Can we get a extended or? A showcase card out of here. Let's see. All right, we got our uncommon there. Proud Wild Bonder, Porky Parrot, and a Ever Quill Phoenix and a Foil Keep Safe. Let's put that up there. 
and the foil. There you go. Boom. Okay. Pack number four. We got a showcase there. Volcapine. A Colossification, the regular form. So, the non regular, non alt. So, there's the difference here. So, you guys can take a look from cat to ugly cat. There's that. All right. Top card of this set right now is. Not the er, the uh, Space Godzilla. Oh, there's a showcase. Frill Scare Mentor and a Kahira the Orphan Guard. The top spot now goes to Mr. Ghidorah. One of my favorite cards, especially the art. The art looks awesome in that card. Is now the top card value-wise. There's another Sabai Crystal. Zagath Mamba. Mythos of Aluna. All right, so far, not so good. <laughs> Been a little bit of a letdown, but hey, still four more packs to go. I see something foily back there, so hopefully that's something. Sabai Thundermane again. Weaponize the monsters and a Titan's Nest for the rare. Foil Splendor Mare. Okay. So is it worth, worth it for the bundle? I believe the bundle retails between $35 to $42. Um, so pretty pricey on the bundle. Endatha Crystal. There you go. There's the Endatha form. Oh, there you go. Endatha Triome. So we able to pull a Triome in the rare spot. That's pretty awesome. So Endotha Crystal and Endotha Triumph. So it's the same thing except for this has a cycling of two for the crystal, but it's a three casting cost. And the land here has a cycling of three with no casting cost. Pretty sweet hit. Pretty nice hit there. Always like pulling the triumphs. Can we get more showcase cards? That is the question. Alrighty. Oh, King and Bonded Prodigy for the Mythic Pool. That's a nice pull there, too. So two back-to-pack three hits. All right, last pack, guys. Can we pull a Godzilla card out of here? That'll make it worth it, right? As someone pulls their trash can out to, to, to the sidewalk. All right. We have a Umori the Collector and a Pry Pyroceratops for their foil. So still pretty decent. Keenan and a Endotha Triome in the bundle. And let's take a look at the collector's booster retail in these boxes here. We're going to have to bring Mr. Old Slicer back here, Mr. Box Cutter, as I jumble everything. Let's see what we pull out of here. And, of course, everyone loves the... Oh, look at that. It's a pack within the box, so you won't get... Can't fool the retailers there and try to get it for $4. So, ingenious idea, guys, for the retailers there so they won't get ripped off. Totally understand why. Let's see what we pull. Alrighty, alrighty then. Here comes our. After the swamp is Tidal Barracuda Commander card, Kahira the Orphan Guard Extended, Inspired Ultimatum. Two showcase cards. A Luca. There you go. Showcase. King Caesar makes his appearance, of course. He cannot. He just loves me too much. Can't stay away for that long. But that is what it's going to look like there. There you go. Still the same packaging, but inside a box this time. And here we get that. Let's go ahead for the collector's pack, retail pack number two. What are we going to get now? All right. Forced, a Yannick, Scavenger Sentinel, Commander. Oh, Luminous Brood Moth. That's a great pull for the Mythic Extended Art. A Datha Triumph, another Datha. 
two showcases, a Zagoth Triome, and a Rodan, and a Luna Apex of Wishes foil showcase. Wow, look at that. One pack had that craziness there. Three Mythics and two Triomes. Wow, what a pack. All right, guys, there you guys are. That's the retail bundle pack. Oh, 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 here we go, shaky, shaky. Retail bundle pack along with two retail Ikoria collector booster packs. Thanks for watching, guys, as I shake this camera a little bit more to give you guys the motion sickness. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and tune in for more Ikoria pools.